we're using this system to our advantage. It was developed for aerospace or for measuring some form of mechanical vibrations in automobiles. And we've taken this technology and adapted it to high-end loudspeaker manufacturing. Our test system is comprised of, of three basic units. The laser, a control unit, which I affectionately call the brain, and the computer. We are sending out a signal to the loudspeaker, causing the driver itself to be the vibrator of that enclosure. And then what that laser does is it actually measures minute changes in the side panel. It's essentially looking at what's, what's the wavelength that it send out versus what's bouncing back. A grid is laid out on this material or on the side of the enclosure. The laser is focused individually on the grid intersection points. Run the test. Move the laser to the next point. Run the test. That's quite a few measurements that's going on, roughly you know, just about 2,500 individual measurements of frequency at each intersection point. That is then interpolated and sent out into the visual image. So we can actually see for the entire face, for the entire frequency range that we sweep, what is actually happening. It's, it's very easy for someone to look at that and say, wow, that thing is really moving a large amount. It's moving in nanometers. It's roughly more than a billionth of an inch. From a mechanical engineering standpoint, what the laser allows us to do is look at things like bracing structures inside, different materials, and how all of those pieces are interacting to reduce cabinet resonance. Well, what we have here is we have an enclosure that has a, a baffle that is made out of our old M material. Here we have an enclosure that is made out of Baltic birch and the 6061T6 aluminum. And over here, we have an enclosure that has our new S-material baffle. So what we'll want to do with these is we'll do listening evaluations to understand how it sounds. The other thing, of course, that we want to do now is we want to take the laser and start measuring the interactions between the dissimilar materials so we can compare not only where we've been, where we're going, and what others are doing. Because what we don't want to have is the side of the enclosure becoming a sympathetic resonator which cancels out or interferes with the sound that's coming out of the drivers. That is a large degree of uh, distortion that we can minimize with this tool.